You're watching Tag TV. India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in various fields like arts and science, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I am your host Skyrim and today in our episode of My India, we will take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of our country, stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. India celebrates a number of festivals throughout the year. While few are observed with great enthusiasm across the country, others are limited to particular state or area only. Kir Bhavani festival, one of the biggest religious events of Kashmiri Pandits, is one such annual congregation that takes place in Ganderbal district of Jammu in Kashmir. But this year, coronavirus took away the sheen of this annual event with the visit of devotees limited to a few dozen. Take a look. The complex of Kheer Bhavani Temple that used to remain jam-packed with thousands of devotees during its annual event was lying barren this time amid coronavirus pandemic. Only few devotees thronged the temple on the occasion to offer their prayers to Goddess Kheer Bhavani, also known as Maharagnya Bhagwati. Set to be the revered goddess of Kashmiri Pandits, her temple is the holiest destination for the community. This bari corona ki wajah se ye mela thoda fika fika sa lag raha hai, kuch hai nahi, ronak nahi hai, mandir mein koi bidwar nahi hai, bahar bazaar lagta tha, wo bhi nahi hai, to is bari kuch acha nahi lagta. Every year. Thousands of displaced pundits from various parts of India and abroad used to visit the temple to attend the annual festival that takes place on the eighth day of the lunar fortnight of Jesht month in the Hindu Almanac. By offering rose petals and ghee, a rice pudding to the sacred spring, they pay their obeisance to the goddess whose temple is constructed just in the middle of the spring, which according to a legend was earlier surrounded by 360 springs. But this year, amid coronavirus pandemic, only few priests performed the rituals just to keep the tradition intact. मेले में तो 80,000 से ज़्यादा लोगों की हाजरी आज यहाँ लगती है। आप देख रहे हो कि कोई भी नहीं है। हम ही हैं जो पुजारी वगैरह यहाँ पर हैं। यहाँ मैं प्रधान हूँ, तो पांच-आठ लोग हैं सारे ऊपर से नीचे तक। The festival is also a wonderful example of communal harmony as its arrangements are done by the Muslims residing in the area, even though. It is biggest event for Kashmiri pundits. Moreover, they even take care of the temple throughout the year and have played a major role in keeping this age-old custom alive. As the Indian government is busy battling coronavirus pandemic, the citizens too are not behind in extending their support and making sure that the poor survive even through these hard times. People across faiths have been coming to the forefront and helping the needy. Similar scene can be witnessed at National Highway 2 in Kanpur city of Uttar Pradesh where a Hindu and a Muslim man are working together, distributing food packets and other necessary items, especially to the migrants passing by.
in a bid to ward off hunger woes, various individuals and organizations across the country have been distributing food and grocery items to the needy since the Prime Minister has imposed nationwide lockdown. Two among them are Kanpur's Amit Pandey and Soheb Ahmed, who have been working relentlessly to distribute food and other necessary items to the migrants who are passing through the national highway. Their act is not just a wonderful example of humanity, but also showcases the harmonious coexistence of different faiths in the country. While Soheb Ahmed and his group can be seen rushing towards the vehicles distributing food and water to the migrants, Amit Pandey and his group on the other side is busy distributing milk, biscuits and toys to the infants. Though working in different groups, their motive is same, that is, to help the migrants in meeting few of their necessities. अभी कुछ दिनों से हम लोग देख रहे हैं हाईवे में के पास मेरा घर है कानपुर महानगर में और यहाँ पर लोग खाना बांट रहे हैं पानी बांट रहे हैं तमाम ऐसी चीजें बांट रहे हैं जो बड़े लोग मांग कर खा सकते हैं लेकिन हम लोगों ने मीडिया के माध्यम से देखा तमाम पत्रकार भी छाप रहे थे छोटे-छोटे बच्चे दो-दो तो हम लोगों ने सोचा अपनी समिति के व्यापार मंडल लोगों ने सोचा कि उनको दूध की बोतलें दूध भरकर हम लोग बोतल देने काम करेंगे साथ में बिस्किट और एक खिलौना कम से कम जो इतना लंबा सफर लोग पैदल या गाड़ी के माध्यम से तय कर रहे हैं पांच पांच छह छह घंटे उनके हो रहे हैं तो कम से कम जो उनके बच्चे हैं वो कम से कम दूध पीकर अपने माँ बाप को परेशान नहीं करेंगे खिलौने से खेलते हुए वो अपने निवास तक पहुंचेंगे एट प्रेजेंट वेन द होल कंट्री इज रीलिंग ड्यू टू कोरोना वायरस in such a situation, it is important for people to rise above religious lines and come forward to help the needy. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. India will be able to fight locust attack and save many crops using new inventions, said Prime Minister Narendra Modi, as farmers across the country are battling swarms of locusts. A new wave of locust attack has alarmed the country's farmers and experts warn of extensive crop losses if authorities fail to curb fast-spreading swarms by June when monsoon rains spur rice, cane, corn, cotton and soya bean sowing. भारत सरकार हो राज्य सरकार हो कृषि विभाग हो प्रशासन भी इस संकट के नुकसान से बचने के लिए किसानों की मदद करने के लिए आधुनिक संसाधनों का भी उपयोग कर रहा है नए नए आविष्कार की तरफ भी ध्यान दे रहा है और मुझे विश्वास है कि हम सब मिलकर के हमारे कृषि क्षेत्र पर ये जो संकट आया है उससे भी लोहा लेंगे बहुत कुछ बचा लेंगे India is battling its worst desert locust outbreak in decades with infestations radiating through much of the western states of Gujarat, Rajasthan and Maharashtra, central state of Madhya Pradesh and Punjab and Haryana and Uttar Pradesh in the north. Members of the Jain community in Gujarat chanted prayers to invoke the gods as they prayed for relief from coronavirus pandemic. As coronavirus is tightening its grip over the world, Jain devotees in Rajkot city were joined by devotees in Vadodara city and devotees across the world who were present through video conferencing in praying for the recovery of the coronavirus patients. 
ये जो मंत्र पूरा मंत्र की ऊर्जा है उससे ये कोरोना का कोरोना की जो महामारी है उसको दूर करने का ये एक प्रयास है और ये जो प्रयास है उसमें सिर्फ भारत ही नहीं बल्कि समग्र विश्व के देश अमेरिका यूरोप के सभी देश कनाडा न्यूजीलैंड सभी लोगों के सभी देश के लोगों लोग इस कार्यक्रम में जुड़े हुए हैं India extended its coronavirus lockdown until June 30 in high risk zones but permitted restaurants malls and religious buildings to reopen elsewhere from June 8 Sporting protective gears and mask Hair stylists in India are giving people hairdo amid corona virus outbreak. Hair stylists in Siliguri and Panchkula city donned protective suits and were seen grooming customers adhering to the social distancing norms. हम लोग ये ड्रेस पहन रहा है मास्क लगा लग रहा है हाथ में ग्लास लगा रहा है चश्मा लगा रहा है हर तरीका से हम लोग मेंटेनेंस कर रहा है हम लोग उस कर रहा है सैनिटाइजर ये उसको इस कर रहा है और हर कस्टमर को एक ही टॉयला दे रहा है एक ही कपड़ा दे रहा है ये इसको उसके बाद धोने के लिए दे रहा है One of the many non-serious aftermaths of the virus lockdown in India has been overgrown beard and hair and people missing on grooming services in salons. However, soon after the central government eased out restrictions in the fourth lockdown, some hair stylists came up with an out of the box idea of using protective gears, masks and gloves to prevent the virus spread. Indian naval ship Jalashwa reached Colombo to bring back around 700 of its stranded citizens amid global coronavirus pandemic. The vessel reached the Sri Lankan capital on Monday morning and will bring the citizens to Tuti Koran city in Tamil Nadu. The whole ship has been divided into three zones, red, orange and green. Evacuated citizens will be kept in the red zone. Those who interact and take care of the evacuees are put in orange zones and crew and sailors are in green zones and these 700 indians have been here for a few months because of the covid-19 related situation the uh, inability to travel back and today indian navy is proudly adding one more chapter to its volumes of its glorious deeds in the service of the nation India brought back hundreds of thousands of its citizens stuck in different parts of the world under Vande Bharat mission via flights and operations Samudra Setu via ships in world's largest civilian evacuation operation Doctors in India are moving to online consultations for non covid-19 patients even as the country looks to open up the economy from nationwide lockdown to curb the spread of the novel corona virus to head off a rush at clinics and an accompanying risk of infection many doctors are turning to video calls and whatsapp chats in addition to regular telephone calls to treat patients suffering from illnesses such as diabetes or kidney conditions there are many things which can be done on remote consultation video consultation phone consultation it's, it's always not necessary to visit a doctor okay what happens if suppose if somebody 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 is taking audio or video consultation if uh, i feel that patient should be seen by me in person physical exam is required then i will tell the patient that you you should come i'll have to examine you 
With its health system overstretched even in normal times, India issued telemedicine guidelines in a push for internet consultations. Patients could go online to book appointments and make advance payments with free follow-up consultations even before the pandemic but now it is helping to formalize the process. Being home to more than 1.3 billion denizens who belong to different castes and communities, India displays an amazing characteristic of mutual tolerance and peaceful coexistence. Examples defining this unique identity of the country are to be found at its every nook and corner. So today we take you to Rajkot city of Gujarat to witness one such exemplary of religious harmony that narrates centuries-old bond of two different faiths. Have a look. Mazhab nahi sikhata aapas mein bair rakhna. Hindi hai hum, watan hai Hindustan hamara. Meaning, religion doesn't teach us to bear ill will among ourselves. We all are Indians and our homeland is Hindustan. Explaining the true meaning of these lyrics is the Vanpari village of Rajkot, where a temple of Hindu Lord Hanuman and shrine of Saint Adil Shah stand in close proximity to each other and are visited by both Hindus and Muslims. There is not even a wall separating both the places of worship and it is believed that if a person visits one side that he has to pay his obeisance at the other side as well, otherwise his prayers will not be worth it. सनमान जी की पूजा हो या मजार की पूजा हो दोनों की साथ करते तभी वो उसके लिए सफल होती है उसके बिना सफल नहीं होती एक जगह करके आप चले जाओगे तो सफल नहीं मानी जाती ये भगवान का भी इधर का कहना है वो नहीं स्वीकार करते ऐसी इस मान्यता है यहाँ पे Interestingly there is just one priest taking care of both the temple and the darga his name is Saham Gar Muhammad Shah and he is serving the holy sites for the last many years first performs the daily rituals at the temple and after distributing the holy sacrament among the devotees he proceeds towards darga to perform the prayers striking a balance between the two he visits both the sides to help devotees perform their respective rituals in perfect harmony पूरा गांव तो मंदिर दरगाह पे जाते हैं मंदिर पे आते हैं सब जगह पे आते हैं हिंदू आते हैं मुसलमान आते हैं सब आते हैं कभी किसी ने इस बात पर कोई कभी कोई कोई सवाल ही नहीं हुआ नहीं तो हिंदुओं ने किया है नहीं तो मुस्लिमों ने किया है कितने साल हो गए होंगे लगभग जब से आप ओ, मेरे को तो यहाँ से अभी बीस साल हुए है लेकिन हमारी पीढ़ी यहाँ पे पांचवी पीढ़ी है यहाँ पे अभी सेवा पूजा करते करते हुए Thus, the way these holy sites of two different faiths have brought people closure to each other and have kept them united for centuries does make it a symbol of peace and brotherhood. Khadian Village Industries Commission, a statutory body formed by the central government, has come to the rescue of artisans in Jammu and Kashmir amid COVID-19 lockdown. By procuring orders in bulk, the Commission is committed to enhance livelihood of artisans even in a time when the pandemic has hit the employment across the country. The small entrepreneurs and artisans across Jammu and Kashmir are back to work. The clicking noises of their sewing machines have finally broken the silence that prevailed for several weeks due to lockdown. All thanks to the KVIC, Khadi and Village Industries Commission that has procured in several orders of producing double-layered Khadi masks for the engaging small entrepreneurs across the territory in their production. Even those who were engaged in the production of other textile products have too got themselves involved 
in mask making. This initiative by KVIC is not just helping to meet the surging demand for masks but is also providing a means of livelihood to the artisans who were otherwise finding it difficult to run their household. KVIB के थ्रू हमें ये ऑर्डर्स मिले हैं मास्क्स बनाने का तो हम अब तो यही यही काम हो रहा है यहाँ पे मास्क्स प्रोवाइड कर रही हूँ मैं उनको मैंने मास्क्स प्रोवाइड किए डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन को डिस्ट्रिक्ट पुलवामा को डिस्ट्रिक्ट बड़गाम को डिस्ट्रिक्ट श्रीनगर डिस्ट्रिक्ट गांधरबल को किए मास्क सामने सप्लाई किए और हमने बहुत सारे मास्क डोनेट भी किए जिसमें हमने ऑर्फनेज को हमने मास्क प्रोवाइड किए KVIC is specifically using double twisted khadi fabric for manufacturing these masks as it helps to retain 70% of the moisture content inside while providing an easy passage of air proving to be the best easily available pocket friendly alternative face masks The commission has roped in tailoring units for producing masks set up under its rural employment generation program that aims at creating self employment opportunities in rural areas and small towns the orders are given to the units through district administration and so far more than 10 lakh khadi masks have been supplied to the jammu and kashmir government by kvic बहुत अच्छा रिस्पॉन्ड है अभी जो हम कोविड से लड़ रहे हैं जूझ रहे हैं हमारे इतने सारे प्राइम मिनिस्टर एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन प्रोग्राम आर के तहत जो लड़के लड़कियों ने टेलरिंग के यूनिट्स हासिल किए थे मैं आपको बताना चाहूँ आपके माध्यम से कि अभी तक हमने 10 लाख मास्क ज़्यादा अभी तो ये मुझे लगता है दो हफ्ते पहले का अपडेट है मेरे पास कि दस लाख मास्क हमने बनाए हैं और इस टाइम पे हमने उन्हीं लोगों को काम दिया एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन के थ्रू हमने एक फैसिलिटेशन का काम किया डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ने उनको ऑर्डर दिया डायरेक्ट उनके अकाउंट्स में पैसे गए उन्होंने मास्क बनाए सो ये काम चल रहा है इस टाइम पे भी वो लोग काम कर रहे हैं एट प्रेजेंट वेन द कोरोना वायरस अक्रॉस द कंट्री इट हैज बिकम डिफिकल्ट for the small businesses to thrive with the restrictions put by the government to combat the virus in such a scenario this initiative of supplying masks in large quantities by khadi and village industries commission for the benefit of both society and artisans is truly commendable as it is not only helping people in getting quality masks but also the artisans to survive in these difficult times That's all we have for you this week your comments and suggestions are important to us do give us your feedback at myindia@nin.com i'm your host Skyrim and it's goodbye from the entire production team <laughs>